The Piri Reese map is an anomalous artifact mainstream historians jump through hoops attempting to debunk. Still, their reviled outlooks have only stoked the flames of interest concerning this vexing piece of history. The reality tunnels of establishment powers have no room for such a map to exist, yet exist it does. In 1929, a theologian named Gustav Adolf Deismann was organizing precious relics in the capital of what was once the Byzantine Empire of Rome. As the native-born German was categorizing the library, he stumbled upon a curious parchment that defied the established canon of reality. The Piri Reese map instantly intrigued the theologian, and he had no clue the amount of controversy his discovery would produce over the coming years. Despite half of the map missing, the accurate depictions of coastlines astonished the modern world. The map was created by Haji Ahmed Mohidin Buri, who in the 1500s was an admiral for the Turkish Navy and a cartographer in his own right. However, he did not create the map based on his own vast experience as a sailor. It was drawn out utilizing a number of source maps. 20, in fact, including one he claimed to belong to Christopher Columbus himself, as well as maps from the Portuguese, Arabic, Greek, and supposedly even Alexander the Great era Ptolemaic maps. Many assume that even earlier maps were used, like from even possibly millennia earlier, which have been lost to time. Now, there are a decent amount of reasons why the Piri Reese map is so notorious, but one of the main contentions is the existence of Antarctica on the map, and this is 300 years before its discovery. However, not only does it show Antarctica, it immediately starts to give off an Atlantis type vibe because it shows a map of the landmass of Antarctica, how it was before it became covered in ice over 6,000 years ago. But it also shows the coastline of America or Northern Africa, depending on the source of researchers who have analyzed the map, which had also not been mapped in detail back in 1513. The key factors to take away from the Piri Reese map are 1. The creators of the maps Piri used to create his map utilized spherical geometry, with the globe Earth as the basis with an understanding of both the North and South Poles and the equator that would have been necessary to perform the calculations resulting in the map. 2. It is pre-Columbian, showing connections to an origin from a pre-Greek Earth. 3. The map has a perfect center with the longitude of Alexandria and the 23.5 degrees parallel of the Tropic of Cancer. 4. The map accurately shows the coast of North Africa or America to some. I came across people claiming it to be both, but I'm not really a cartographer, so I don't know. <laughs> Either or. 5. It has a perfect use of longitude and latitude converted to fit a two-dimensional paper map, which is actually pretty bizarre to allegedly come from the era it's said to come from. 6. All other contemporary maps of the time and well into later centuries reveal the sheer level of ignorance concerning global cartography, a level of ignorance that is wholly non-existent in the Piri map. 7. The map shows an accurate coastline of Antarctica despite it being covered in massive amounts of ice, and no historical record ever mentioning the continent being explored before, and the sure fact that it's impossible that it could have been mapped when people didn't even know it existed in the first place. Not to mention it being mapped without any of the ice on it. This is the main point to take away from the Piri Reese maps, and it's a complete anomaly. All of these things should be impossible to produce in the 1500s. The ancient Chinese and Near East also had high levels of knowledge in astronomy and geometry going back as far as 1092 AD, but even these cultures existed long before the Greek Classical Age and pre-Greek origins of the maps used to create the Piri map. However, the mathematics required to create the map absolutely existed in Greece, thanks to Pythagoras and others. But if they had such knowledge of Earth, why is Antarctica and the Americas not referenced by ancient scholars? Not even once. 
Is it possible advanced cultures with modern knowledge have been lost to time? The modern form of humanity forged by natural selection has existed for 300,000 years or more. This has been a relatively recent paradigm shift thanks to the discovery of Homo sapiens sapiens skeletons in Morocco dating back that far, but this information has yet to reach wide-ranging common knowledge. In fact, I haven't come across scientists that don't even know this stuff today. But most people don't realize just how long 300,000 years really is. There were many pole shifts, climate changes, and other global or geological chaos that is more than capable of burying human civilizations without a trace. Researchers of the Piri Reis map suggest the valid possibility of a worldwide civilization existing many thousands of years before ancient Egypt. With the study of deep time, and an understanding of just how ancient we humans truly are. There's a high chance that we've played this game before, quote unquote. And humanity has had to endure a reset of civilization many times possibly. One of the most renowned researchers on the topic, Charles H. Hapgood, believes it's possible that the people responsible for the map could have been around or made by people who lived before the Ice Age ceased back when Alaska was still connected to Siberia by a land bridge that did sink once the oceans rose. This is scientific fact. And the reason why this map is so hated is because logic dictates that it comes from before the Ice Age ended, which means that there's a high probability that there was an advanced human civilization before history even began. And even the greatest debunkers, like people who just say it, or try to focus on the fact that it's highly possible the area of the map people say is America is actually Africa, does not explain the rest of the anomalies on the map. Like the existence of the Canary Islands on it, Japan, Antilia, as well as all the other factors I've already gone over that should not exist. At least coming from the time the map comes from, that is. Denying the anomalous qualities of the map is just the machine beating down people who don't bow to establishment institutions that have a monopoly on power and telling others what is or is not reality, while the whole time embodying the very definition of corruption. Luckily, history proves these establishment oppressors are universally wrong, repeatedly over time, and the mysteries will never be silenced. If anything, though, the Piri Reis map shows that the world was being explored on a global level far earlier than we would have ever thought possible. Thank you.